Hey, so we're talking about adding sections and rows in LeadGAN. And when we start LeadGAN, um, it, all, uh, it actually works in different kind of sections. And these sections is where you will put in all your work breakdown structure as well as all the tasks that need to be done for the project. So that's coming up. When you create a new project in Google Sheets using LeadGAN, this is these are the sheets that you will see. So we can, we, as discussed in a previous video, we can hide all the masters and we can then focus on our sections. Now sections are basically collections of rows and what we've done to make things easier and faster is that we've added these sections um, uh, in, in five, tens, 15 and 20 row increments and that actually makes it faster quicker and uh, really handy so for example let's say we've got um, by default the first section that you created would have 10 rows in it now if you want to add another section which is another 10 rows you press the 10 button and it'll create another section at the at the bottom of it uh, if, the, if the next section that we want we uh, is going to be five we'll have to click on five but we have to be careful uh, is that this will automatically check where your cursor is, what cell your cursor is in, or what section your cursor is actually in. So if your cursor is over here, it'll automatically add a section below that section. So if we want that section to come in below, um, uh, below section number three, we need to make sure that the cursor is somewhere in this section. So now when I click on this and add another section for 15, I can quickly do that and it'll It'll do that over here. The same thing goes with uh, when attaching link, when you're linking other lead GANs to the same sheet, because um, wherever our cursor is, whatever, whatever section um, our cursor is in that moment, it'll add that just below that. But not to worry, if you wanted to get rid of this section right here, all you have to do is make sure that you select the entire section. Now, what I don't want you to do is just select the header and right click and just delete the header. What that is going to do is all the rows that were in there were actually, um, they are basically the children of this, this header section. So if you just delete that header, this is going to orphan these rows and your uh, your numbering won't uh, won't be correct um, from that point on so if you have added a section accidentally you can just select the entire section right click on that and delete those rows uh, once this is deleted uh, which is fine um, as you can see these numbers then automatically correct themselves the only time it might take a little bit longer is if you have a slower internet speed because everything um, uh, is uh, all these all these things are actually happening in the cloud so whatever command that we give it actually goes back into google cloud um, and executes itself and then comes back so so uh, that's the main thing you can um, also move this section so let's say if i wanted to move uh, let's just add another section which is a smaller one and easier to move uh, we'll add that section just below that and if i wanted to select this entire section i would just select all of them and move it together um, and you'll see that the numbers uh, will automatically update uh, this is pretty uh, pretty good so <clears throat> these numbers will not generate the task id will not generate if we do not have um, anything over here so say for example it needs to say something like task or even if it's there is a letter in there uh, it'll start generating these numbers it will not generate numbers anywhere there is uh, these tasks are empty so uh, we have to have something in there in order for it to generate these numbers so let's just have all of that and now we can move this um, section again so let's say we select all of that and move it below this section and you, it will automatically update and you'll see that this has now become 3.001 and this is now three so it, it is important that you move the entire section or delete the entire section rather than just clicking on uh, each row because they will uh, be orphaned and the calculations won't happen um, together so 
with these sections, uh, the best part is that if you've got all these details and you wanted to give a heading in the middle, let's say we give another sub heading to this point, we can, um, and it's pretty easy. So, uh, but they will get numbered, for example, uh, these numbers will get generated even for the heading, but we can use the, the existing uh, formatting capabilities that Google Sheet already comes with. We can press the bold button, bold that. If I wanna get rid of this indenting, I can go to format number and click automatic and it'll automatically remove that uh, indent for us. You can also delete um, individual rows uh, within a section. So say for example, we only have maybe let's say task one and the other one is task two. And we, we realize that we've added more more rows to it then there are actually tasks in there so we don't want all of these and we just want to get rid of this extra bit so that is absolutely fine because they still remain uh, connected with their subheaders so i can just right click select these number of rows right click on them and click on delete rows and they will uh, they will be gone um, if i feel that i have less number of rows and i wanted to add another row or let's say I was adding task two, but then I realized this should have been task number four and I need to add um, another row just below this. So that that is also not an issue. You can leave your cursor or selected cell wherever you want. So whatever, let's say if you wanna add two more, um, two more rows right below this, it's super easy. I can put in manually, put in a number of row that I will, number of rows that I want to add to it. So in this scenario, I just want to add two and I'll click on the go button and this will add two more rows just below it. So now I know that this is, uh, this can be task number three, four and five and six. So that is, um, that is no problem at all. And all these numbers will then re uh, regenerate themselves and, um, uh, the calculation will occur automatically. So, so yeah, anytime you feel that uh, uh, th these are taking longer to generate, that basically means that either your internet um, is uh, is slower or there's some issue with the internet. Uh, you can refresh your sheet, that will not do anything. You can also click on refresh Gantt and that will um, uh, refresh and force all these calculations once again. So, uh, otherwise, they've been designed so that it can be as fast as possible and as clean as possible um, for people to use.